Hello viewers, welcome to my channel Kim Firik. I am Dr. Mala Das Sharma, retired professor of St. Pius 10th degree and PG college for women, Hyderabad. Using the platform Kim Firik, I am going to teach different topics of all branches of chemistry by adopting a self-designed teaching methodology that is teaching chemistry through readies. For this video number two, the reading is framed on an important reaction of organic chemistry with special emphasis to the explanation of exceptional features related to the reaction. The primary objective for making this series of videos is to generate interest in chemistry among the students and making a wider spread of this teaching learning model for the benefit of the students across the globe. Hope I'll receive the support and encouragement from the viewers to fulfill my objectives. Now, we'll start our riddle number two, which is on the screen. I am an inflammable organic compound. I am liked and enjoyed by some people, but hated by others. I am used as the solvent in many medicines because of my high solubility power. I am the only compound in my family who can produce iodoform. Using me, people make pleasant smelling compounds. The primary question is, who am I? The other questions are, what is iodoform reaction? Third question, why can I produce iodoform? And the last question, what is that reaction by which I can make pleasant smelling compounds? So guess the answer for primary questions. Here is the answer. It is ethyl alcohol. Now, this riddle number 2 is framed to teach the iodoform reaction. Now, what is iodoform reaction? Methyl ketones or any organic compounds that contain CH3CO group in the structure when treated with excess iodine in presence of alkali, they form a yellow crystalline compound known as iodoform. The formula is CHI3. So this reaction is given by only those compounds that contain CH3CO group in the structure. That's why this reaction is considered as the test for the presence of CH3CO group in an organic compound. Now see acetone, acetone CH3, C double bond O, CH3, so it contains CH3CO group. When treated with iodine in presence of alkali, it gives iodoform CHI3 and the sodium acetate. Now, why the presence of this CH3CO group is required for iodoform taste that you can understand from the mechanism. See the mechanism. This hydroxyl ion, because the medium is alkaline, takes the H plus from this CH3CO group and the negative charge is formed on this carbon atom and the resonance participation occurs. Now, this negatively charged carbon will get attached with one iodine atom of the iodine molecule and the remaining iodine atom is removed as iodide. Then you will get CH2I, C double bond O, R. Now, the same step is repeated twice. Again, the hydroxyl group will take this H plus from this CH2 and from the negative charge on carbon, again this carbon will get attached with another iodine atom and 
After the third step, this carbon will get attached with three iodine atoms, and you are getting it Ci3, then C double bond R. Now this hydroxyl ion attack the carbonyl carbon atom, and the pi bond is shifted to oxygen. Then finally we will get this compound, and then Ci3 minus is removed, and remaining part is C double bond OR and OH. Now this C minus will take this H plus to form iodoform CHI3 and this carboxylate anion, which remains as the salt of carboxylic acid. Now we have seen the iodoform reaction is given by only those compounds which contain CH3 CO group. But there is exception. Certain secondary alcohol like 2-propanol and only one primary alcohol also respond to iodoform taste, though they don't contain CHCO group in the structure. Then why? Because this iodine in alkaline medium or iodine reacts with alkali to form hypoiodide ion. This hypoiodide ion oxidizes this secondary alcohol, this is 2-propanol to ketone. Secondary alcohols are oxidized to ketone. Here 2-propanol will be oxidized to acetone which is methyl ketone and this acetone or methyl ketone when reacts with iodine in presence of alkali, it forms iodoform CHI3. Now let's see the answers of the remaining question. Number two, what is iodoform reaction? Just now we explained the compounds containing CH3CO group when treated with excess iodine in presence of alkali, they form yellow crystalline solid called iodoform, CHI3. Why can I produce iodoform? I means ethyl alcohol or ethanol. Ethyl alcohol is the only primary alcohol that responds to iodoform test or iodoform reaction. That's why in the radial it was written, I am the only member of my family, that means alcohol family, who can produce iodoform. Here also, this iodine reacts with hydroxyl ion to form hypoiodide. This hypoiodide ion oxidizes ethanol to acetaldehyde. Acetaldehyde contains CH3CO group, so it responds to iodoform test or give iodoform when treated with excess iodine in presence of alkali. Now the last question, what is that reaction by which I can make pleasant smelling compounds? This is esterification reactions. Esters are formed by the reaction between acid and alcohol. OH group of the acid and hydrogen of alcohol removed as water and the remaining ester is formed. These esters are pleasant smelling compounds. So, this was the riddle number 2. Hearty request for your comments and valuable suggestions.